Yeah, so we're back with the uh, practice dump ball. Uh, how they say it in uh, Portugal is dump ball. Dunk it. Maybe. That might be a farce, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. It's called dunk ball. Dunk ball. That's how I'm saying it. Seems to have quite a head with it, so um, it's not going anywhere. No, We've no. waited a while and the head's just staying. I like it. a thick, creamy head. Yeah, it's always nice. You were going to say he likes head. Wait, wait, wait. You were going to say. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I was like, I was going to say I like a head that doesn't go anywhere. What's the point of having a head that doesn't go anywhere? That's just like a waste of time. No. <laughs> it's, it's, you're looking for a happy ending, surely. A happy ending is a head that doesn't go anywhere. That's perfect. <laughs> it's one of heads in the mouth. What you do is it stays where it needs to be. Perfect. I'm not saying it needs to be flapping about it, but you're expected to go somewhere. A head without end is just doing it wrong. Looks a big head. Oh, that's great. Oh, chocolatey. Chocolatey surprise. The state of that dunkel, mate. It's, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. This is fabulous. Yeah. Oh, God. Mmm. That's a dessert. That's like the sweet trolley has come round and it went. What chocolate should we put in this? All of it? Yeah, and throw all of it in. Yeah. Ah. Oh. It's, it's like drinking Black Forest Gap time. Yeah. There we are. You see, it, this is the sweet trolley that has come home early. It is. Seriously, it's mm. mad chocolatey. That could teach the Germans a thing or two. Because we mm. Dunkel is a German thing for. Well, dark beer, right? But. Yeah, then. The Belgians do dunkles as well. This is true. I think it's usually synonymous with that part mm. of Europe, shall we say. But, but who yeah. knew? The Portuguese, man. Yeah, these guys smash it. Smashing it. This is fabulous. What's that you behind the camera? I like it as well. He mm. likes it as well. Very nice. Mm. Very nice. I don't know whether it was meant to be chilled. I think it's probably not meant to be. I think that kind of creaminess and the strength of it and all that kind of stuff would probably make you want to slow down if it wasn't cold. You chill this stuff down and it's far too drinkable. Yeah! What has this come in? 5.4. 5.4, export strength. It's a good place to be. You know it has to have something because nothing will taste as much like chocolatey cake. Yeah, well, you know, the it whole week. toasted hops mm. and toasted barley has that kind of familiar taste to it. It's it's burnt but it's not over toasted. It's yes. It's crisp but it's not sour. Oh yeah, this is a yeah, it's a good beer. They barbecued those things without turning it into charcoal. You said that frothy frothy head. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I don't want to finish this. I don't know, I am going to finish it, but I don't want to rush towards it. It's just, it's really nice. I'm savouring. He's just, trying to say that he's not going to head towards his happy ending too quickly. Look, everyone wants to draw that shit out. Right? There they But hey, sometimes you just have to unload. Get on with it. Okay. <laughs> Good uncle. Still, how long have I left it there? It, I can still taste it. Mm. Yes. Well, I'm going to give this a... 44. Sterling Mark. Sterling Mark. Sterling Mark. I'm right with you. It is absolutely fabulous. 44 from me. <laughs> Paid and display. What say you, sir? I like it. 43. 43. 43. Oh, so High praise indeed. This so is... Like the, this is the... This is head, standing head and shoulders over everyone else. Yeah, I yeah. think this might be uh, beer of the year. Beer of the year so far. We've got two more to go from these guys. Yep. Let's see. That will practice Dunkel. Next up is their white beer. Their white beer. Yes. Feather the clutch, you said. <laughs> Skull. Skull. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I should say I don't like white beers. And this is no exception. Right, what have you got to say about it? I quite like this one. Good, good, good. I'm there. I'm there. It's a white beer, so it's going to have that rich creaminess and that floral, hoppy 
It's a strong tasting white beer. It's not light or anything. It's like, ah, that's white beers though. I've never tasted a light white beer. No, they're not. No, they're, they're always, always heavy. Now, I know people who really love them. I, I wouldn't actively go for them. Mm -hmm. As cold as this is, this is a nice, refreshing drink. Would it be my go-to? Not necessarily, but I'll quite happily, you know. Yeah, I, I love one of those. I'm not a fan of white beers. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. It's not even bitter. It's, it's nice. It's lemony. It's zesty. It's got all those white beer characteristics that you come to understand from the others, like, oh god, it's fresh. I like it. Ah, uh -uh. Not at all. Not at all. And this is what I find with white beers. It's yeah. got a kind of a sourness that's in the back of my throat. I can't get beyond that. Sour. It's got a floral taste to it, which I find unpleasant. I get a sour. I'm not even sure if it's a before taste or an after taste, but I can't get oh, on. There's a tang with these white beers, and it's always been the same. I can't see lemony. I can't say this is better or worse than. Nah, nah, mm. nah. You get a tang, I get sour. We'll have to agree to disagree on that. Scoring, yeah, yeah, okay. Flat 40. Flat 40? Yeah, yeah. What say you? Behind the camera. Yeah, what do you reckon? 37 for me. 37? Yeah. yeah. But how, how do you feel white beer wise? I don't think it's my favourite. It's not your favourite. Mm. You're not really feeling it. Mm. Mm. 32 but, yeah, for me. Still a good score. Still a reasonable score though. I can't go, oh, it's a 10 just because I don't like it. It's, yeah, you can. I, I can't. You can't fucking no. say it. If you, no, if no, you no. don't like it. No, no, Chris. My score stands. Right. All right. You might like it. 